Despite Disney and the mainstream media doing everything in their power to make people think that opening weekend was a massive success for them, there was no getting around it. The international numbers were a nightmare for Disney. And domestically, it opened to less than they expected. Just tracking a little bit ahead of Aladdin all the way back from 2019. Now, of course, Aladdin did very well at the global box office but that was very heavily reliant on huge international numbers. And with what we were seeing, even the mainstream media was questioning this said, hey, looks like this thing's going to have a hard time breaking even. And considering the production budget was $250 million, considering the marketing budget was an extra $140 million, this is a movie that has to make in the neighborhood of $750 to maybe even $800 million just to break even. And now... What we saw in the box office its second weekend does not bode well. Now, Across the Spider-Verse dominated this box office, made more in a three-day weekend than Little Mermaid did in its four-day memorial holiday weekend. But where are we at with Little Mermaid? That's one of the questions that people are asking. How much would it drop? Well, now we have our answer. Here's Eric Weber puts this out. Hashtag the Little Mermaid sinks 58% in second weekend with $40 million, adds another $42 million overseas for a $326 million worldwide cube. The film will end nowhere near many expected. Some had this at a billion. We'll be lucky if it gets to $500 million at this point. Now, I personally think that's a little bit too pessimistic. I do think it'll get there. I don't know if it'll get to $600 million, but there is reason to be concerned. Even like we were talking about earlier this week, those international numbers were bad and they did not get that much better. And when you look at Little Mermaid with a 58% drop, the reason that this is important, the reason people were looking at that is because that's worse than the domestic drop that Aladdin had all the way back in 2019. Now, granted, it's not a ton worse, you know, 58% compared to 53%, but with that 53%, Aladdin did make more its second weekend than Little Mermaid did. Another thing to keep in mind is that with the way ticket prices have shot up, you're talking about 30 to 40% of the audience did not go see this movie compared to something like Aladdin. And you can see that the writing is on the wall for Little Mermaid. It's not going to get any better. It's just going to fall further and further behind that pace, especially this worldwide number. Through these 10 days, right, through its, through its first Sunday or through its second Sunday, Little Mermaid... $326 million. Where was Aladdin? Well, I can go back and tell you. Aladdin at that point in time was over $100 million ahead of that pace at $446 million. When the mainstream media is writing articles, try to do spin jobs, trying to say, well, we don't know if it'll break even, but if it does, this is why, and this is what it needs to, putting really low ball estimates on it, you know things are bad. And right now there's no getting around it. The international box office was very, very bad for this movie, continues to be poor for this movie. And it, domestically, it's dropping worse than what they were trying to keep pace with. All in all, it looks like the audience has said time and time again, this isn't what we want. We don't want this race swap Disney live action remake. Leave it alone. We don't want this. Disney didn't listen. They came out with it anyway. And now the results speak for themselves. This is a movie that will be lucky if it even sniffs breaking even at this point in time. Sad, but this is what Disney has done to themselves.